to conclude, the play The Glass Menagerie takes place during the 1930s in America before any civil rights or women equality movements had begun. The, side, the society of the time kept many women from working or earning a living wage. Women were largely considered to be delicate or they must be treated with a gentle touch, just as the tiny glass figurines in the menagerie. These aspects contribute to Laura and her mother repeating the same destructive cycle and relying on Tom as the breadwinner of the family. Amanda's outdated views about how women should appear in society and her constant critiquing of her daughter keep Laura from feeling any self-worth and further perpetuating the dream world that she seems to live in and keeping her trapped and unable to advance in her life. Laura, seeming unable to start a life or family of her own, retains her mother's responsibility to care for her. And these aspects, of course, sustain the burdening constraints that keep Tom working at a grueling job to support his sister and mother during these trying times of the 1930s and 1940s before women as a whole had secured proper equal rights.